Hey, it's Carrie Oberbrunner. Hope you are doing fantastic. If you can see and hear me, type in fire. Okay. If you can see and hear me, type in the word fire. That way I know you are a soul on fire. You are showing up, filled up. I want to make sure you can hear me too. So go ahead and also share where you're from. I see Linda. Great to be with you today, Linda. I know this is going to be going out. Hey, Linda can hear me. Awesome. Thank you guys. I always want to make sure we're uh, tracking here with technology. Listen, today I'm going to talk about three specific Amazon author secrets. I'm going to talk about how to become a number one bestseller, how to optimize your author page, and how to get customer reviews. Hopefully I can remember those three things off the top of my head. I'm also going to try to share my screen as well because I want you guys to literally see what I'm doing. If you don't know, we are basically going to be launching these three books your secret name, the deeper path, and day job to dream job here on October 27th, which is in 15 days. And already today I have a semi literally showing up at my house delivering thousands of books. <laughs> so it's going to be exciting. Uh, I, I got to keep this short and sweet today, spend a bunch of time with my kids and family, but they are off of school. So this is kind of just a special thing for you guys today. It's a Facebook Friday. Here's what you can do to, to show up filled up to kind of have a big party here. Before I get into the content, which I'm going to do right now, if you guys can share this and maybe even tag somebody who needs to be watching, somebody who needs to learn these things, maybe they're an author, maybe they need some help. My goal is to ignite 1 million souls by 2020, and uh, we have a big announcement here in two weeks about that goal. But if you guys can tag it, share it, just type in the word shared after you do, that would be awesome. Then more and more people can be publishing and marketing and writing the correct way, which is a big passion of mine. So let's jump right into the content. So I'm going to start sharing my desktop and let's see if this thing works, okay? And I'm going to take you guys to my author central page because there's a couple important things that I want you to be aware of today. So if you guys can see my screen, that would be fantastic. Let me know if you can. I'm going to try to make this work. Usually I do this with Zoom, and that is a lot easier for me to do it with Zoom. But I'm going to give it a shot, and we'll see what we can do. All right? So hang on one second. Let's see if I can do this. Share screen two. Hang with me. And again, I'm going to try to make this work. It's kind of tricky. Let me let me watch here on Facebook Live and make sure. Again, normally I do this with Zoom, but I wanted to make it a little bit of a show today. And uh, we'll see what happens. If not, I'll just have to refer to things and not show you my desktop. So I'm going to go and see what you're seeing on. Okay. If you guys are seeing Amazon, listen, I'm watching you in the comments here. If you guys can see Amazon, go ahead and type in. So let's jump right into the content. Type in so, Amazon if you guys can see Amazon, okay? Yeah, okay, I think you can see it. Is that cool? Let me know if you can see Amazon. <laughs> My little bald head over here, all right? Okay, I think you can actually. Hold on, hold on, okay. So I'm just going to pretend that you do. Go ahead, type in the word if you guys can see it just so I can get clearance because, yeah, okay, all right. Brenda said yes. Okay, so here's here's what we got. This is called an author central, or this is called an Amazon page. And the way you can find this Amazon page is that uh, a couple things. One is when you search for a book. So I'm just going to type in uh, the deeper path. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to optimize your Amazon page first. So you see my different books here. Okay, here's one of them. When I highlight over this thing, what should happen typically is it should bring me to the author page. Did you see that? That's really important. If you're having any trouble with this, you go to Author Central. And Author Central is the place where if you don't have an author page, you can start an author page. And again, folks, I'm blind. Make your screen full screen so we don't see your desktop. Okay. All right. Enter full screen. Let me know if you can still see it. Okay. Um, all right. You can watch the replay if you're having trouble seeing it, if it's super tiny on your phone. 
But give me a thumbs up, folks, if you can see my full screen and I'll keep rolling. Author Central is the place where you are, okay, good. Author Central is the place where you are going to claim your book and you need to have a book in their system. So this means that if you just have design files, you will not be able to be seen. So anyway, what you can do is in Author Central, you claim your books and you basically say, this is my book, this is my book, this is my book, this is my book. Now, what a lot of people don't do is they don't tie in their author updates. You can literally say with your author updates, and by the way, if you're learning something, uh, type in the word learn, okay? Because we're gonna, I'll keep going here as long as I can go, as long as people are learning something. Um, author updates, you can literally type in like, hey, upcoming book signing, hey, book launch party, this type of thing. Notice also what I did is I fed my blog posts in here. So I haven't been blogging recently, but notice here's my trailers, okay, which is pretty cool. Here's my blog posts, which are here, and you can scroll and you can see more blog posts and more trailers. I'll tell you why that's important. Amazon is building an algorithm based upon search terms and keywords, okay? And the more content you have going through your author page, the better. So in other words, I don't know if you guys know this, but Amazon is the third, third largest search engine in the world. It goes back and forth, but usually it's Google, YouTube, and Amazon. Amazon is the one that's tied to your book. Okay, Amazon is the largest search engine tied to a store. So the more content that you have on Amazon, the better. So basically, I put a nice bio here, I put a nice picture here. I could, I could probably even update that picture because it's getting cut off a little bit. But here's my books, and then blog post, author updates, then you see here, there's different types of format. There's Kindle, there's Audible, there's paperback, and then there are hardcover. So listen, if something doesn't look right, I call up Author Central because I have some new additions going on and it just did not look right. Also, someone created a fake Amazon author page with my name. Uh, one of my assistants just told me that yesterday. So what did I do? I called up Author Central. I said, look, here's the fake account. Here's the real account. Can you fix this? And they are so good. They are so fast at fixing that. Here's something really cool, a really cool thing that just happened. Notice I'm releasing new versions of the book. Now, technically, uh, check this out, folks. This is really important stuff. Um, let's go. You're going to love this here. For the, How many of you have, ha have a republish going on? You have a book that is already out there, but it's gonna get republished. You're gonna love this, okay? Now, here's my old version, 2014, but look, I called Author Central and got them to add this widget. Did you catch that? So you scroll here and you're like, oh, he's got a book. Wait, there's a new edition. Do you see that? There is, there's a newer edition of this item. This title will be released on October 27th. All I needed to do was ask them. So I called them up and I said, hey, can you guys give me a new widget for this? And they're like, boom, okay? So that's super cool. Folks, if that's helpful for you, if you know somebody who's republishing, tag them because most people don't know this type of stuff, all right? Tag them, share it, awesome. Here's the other crazy cool thing. I was worried that all my old reviews, my 85 old reviews would be lost because that's what people told me. They're gonna be lost, Carrie if you do a new new version. Well, look, you click on the hardcover version, this isn't even supposed to happen. Look at this, 85 customer reviews and the book comes out October 27th. Do you see that? 85 customer reviews. You're not supposed to be able to review a book until it comes out, but what I did is I got them to merge it, okay? I got them to merge it. This is a secret author tip, and I talk a lot more about this some of you are my students. If you're if you're my student, Brenda, Jim's got an awesome book. Gina has got a book out. I'm looking here. If you're if you're one of our authors, um, uh, just type in the word um, type in the word A A E. It stands for Author Academy Elite, and I'll give you a shout out <laughs> with your book. But here's the point: a lot of this tricky stuff most people don't know. So I literally thought when I released these new three books, you know, these new three books. I thought I'm gonna have to start from zero. 
but instead they're able to review the new version. Uh, essentially, they're able to blend the two customer reviews together, which is really important. Otherwise, here's a here's a trick. Here's a trick. If you say, Carrie, well, gee, why why have my launch go go live and not be able to uh, get reviews until the launch day? Because listen, folks, you cannot get book reviews until your book goes live. But here's a little trick. Some people launch with their Kindle. They launch with a soft launch Kindle, but they don't launch with their paperback and their hardcover. And what happens then is they can get customer reviews. So if you go to Goodreads, goodreads.com, you can actually get reviews earlier. You can get reviews months in advance, but Amazon only lets you start getting reviews on the day you go live. And that's why some people, I encourage them to launch softly just to their launch team with an ebook version to start gaining reviews so that when people show up on launch day, they got 39 reviews or 25 reviews, this type of thing. Okay, that's a little strategy right there. By the way, some of my students here, Lucy, fantastic, Karen, Sarah, Jim, we got uh, Laura, we got Linda, we got Unipreneur, Save the Butter Tub. So a lot of our clients are here, which is awesome. Let me go into some other strategies now. Again, I wanna give you guys as much as you can. And by the way, if you kinda want the private invitation to my launch team, I'm gonna post the link. The link is right there. It is free, okay? The party is free. The launch team is free. The launch team is 20,800 people. Folks, I'm telling you, it's like a PhD in book marketing. It's free. Jump in the jump in the group. And the link's right there. I just shared it. I can't look on so many screens at once, but let me try to get you guys the screen to jump in to the uh, author challenge. Actually, that that's the way you do it. Let's let's go to the party for a second. Let's go to the party here. The party page. If you look here, people just joined from Las Vegas. Denise over here. Here, here's the party. I'm gonna show you guys in real time. We have about 400 people showing up in Columbus, Ohio on October 27th. I'm also gonna live stream this thing. And you guys can see in real time how to create excitement and energy around an event. Listen, if you're gonna launch your book without a launch party and a launch team, good luck. I'm being real, I'm just being real. Why? Because people like to get around an event. If you just say, hey everybody, my book's out, there's no excitement. This is why Hollywood knows this. Hollywood on opening night, they have red carpet events. They have the actors going to the big night shows, making tours. Even Hollywood knows that you better spike energy around a launch weekend. And if you don't, the movie will tank. It's the same thing with authors. This is all the stuff we teach in our program called Author Academy Elite. If you're not part of that, uh, I'm gonna give you a free masterclass training right now so you can check it out. And this is two hours of me giving you my very best um, strategies. I'll post that link here. See, Brenda says her book tour starts on Saturday. So she's one of our authors. She's got a tour going on. So look at Brenda right here, fantastic. Um, uh, here's the place for the free training. Here's the place for the free party. I'm loading you guys up. I just want to give you a ton of stuff today, a ton of free tips, tools, and tactics. All right, let's go back now, how to become a number one Amazon bestseller. So listen, the problem with people becoming number one Amazon bestsellers, here's what you have against you. If you're trying to take on broad categories, like you versus Oprah, you versus Tony Robbins, you versus these these epic Malcolm Gladwell. If you're trying to take on the giants and become a number one Amazon bestseller, you're gonna struggle. So what I teach is a strategy where you basically choose to be a big fish in a small pond. And this strategy is one that is in our Author Academy Elite training. I just uploaded the video. So if you're an Author Academy Elite student, I know a lot of you guys, by the way, welcome Karen. Karen's one of our children's book uh, authors. 
she's doing awesome big changes for little bugs i got it right above my head here but anyway what you want to do is you want to become a big fish in a small pond so what you can do is you can actually choose 10 categories to be listed in in amazon most people don't know this you see you scroll down here and right now because the book hasn't come out yet well let's go i'll try to show you what i'm talking about here so I'm trying to go to your secret name so you can see what I'm talking about. So imagine if you had 10 categories and your competition only had three, you could imagine how you could take them out, no problem. So down here, you see that I'm listed in three categories and the book's not even out yet. On launch day, we'll, we'll, we'll rocket this thing, hopefully to number one. And if you guys wanna help me do that, that that's fantastic. But here's the point. You only see three categories here. Do you guys see three? Can you see that? Three categories? Don't worry, behind the scenes, I'm in another seven categories. Did you, did you catch that? Behind the scenes, I'm in another seven categories. And the way that you do that, if you're one of our Author Academy Elite students, what you do is you go, you log in Author Academy Elite, you click AA at the top right, it stands for Author Academy, you scroll down into like secret bonus videos. And I just filmed a video right there on how you can basically get into 10 categories and check this out, how you can get into the categories that are smaller. You still wanna be ethical, you still wanna be on topic, but you can actually choose subcategories. And what happens then is it's almost like unfair because then you get listed in these smaller categories and then you become a number one bestseller then you get this super cool little orange tag like let's go to Brene Brown I'm sure she's she just launched this week and I'm sure she's got a little flag by her name here and I'll tell you what happens when you get a little flag by your name okay yeah here you go you see this little flag here Brene Brown bestseller now Brene Brown she's huge I mean she's essentially Oprah's friend not all of us are Oprah's friend, okay? So some of us have to do other things. By the way, do you check that out? Check this out. Brene Brown has six reviews and her book came out October 9th. I just showed you my book comes out October 27th and I already have 85 reviews because I showed you nothing unethical, but I'm launching a new version wherever it is. I'm launching a new version of the old book, so I was able to basically cash in on those honest ethical reviews that I got the last few years. So these are little tips and tricks. But anyways, once you become a bestseller, so her book just came out, once you become a bestseller, then you start listing and it's like the tipping point. You start getting featured and then that sells more books because Amazon thinks this is a hot seller. So then you get more and more and more and it becomes this snowball effect, which is pretty powerful. Okay. And then lastly, how to get customer reviews, folks, how you get customer reviews is you build up excitement around your book. And again, right here is where the, I mean, I, I've never had a launch team that's been more than a few hundred people. But if you look here, we got 20,000 members in this launch team that are helping me launch this book. They're so kind. Some of you are, are part of that group. Uh, Jim says, is it too late to add categories once it is published? No, you can do that. You can absolutely do that right now. Some people are saying they're struggling with my screen. Don't worry, uh, I, we're gonna try to get to it here, okay? Hopefully, hopefully the screen updates. I don't know. Let me, let me, uh, let me bring it down and let me bring it back up. We'll see if that helps. Anyways, here's Brene Brown that I was just talking about, the little orange flag, okay? Uh, Jim, listen, your book already came out. Don't worry, you can still cash in on the strategy. Watch that Author Academy Elite training that I have. Log in, A, log in to Author Academy Elite website, click AA, top right corner, scroll down, it says secret bonus author videos. Watch those videos and I walk you through exactly how to, how to get 10 categories and how to get the smallest categories, okay? Sorry guys, the screen's not updating and because of that, I'm just gonna go, this is, this is uh, not a problem, but I'll do some training later on. Let me just answer the last few questions 
So people are saying there is no change. No worries. But anyway, keep asking questions. I'll answer a little bit more. And the way you get customer reviews is you basically, um, I'm going to give you guys a special website. You can see what I'm talking about. This is a, this, you copy what I just do. Copy what I do here. Everything I do, I'm trying to show you guys to help you with your book. Okay. So let me, let me give you a great, um, web link. Okay. A little, little link here. Okay. Found it. I'm going to drop it into Facebook live. And even though I can't see you or you can't see my page, you'll be able to get this. Okay. So Laura says, how the heck did I miss it? I'm going to go in there and upload my 10 categories. Absolutely. Laura, you're one of our clients. Go ahead and do that. It's a great strategy. And maybe you didn't do it because I just figured it out. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I kind of taught on this in the old days, but Amazon always changes things. And so I just recently had to update the videos. Um, Jenny says the secret bonuses is for Author Academy Elite members. Listen, here, I got all kinds of bonuses. Here's some bonuses right now for everybody. So certain bonuses are for, um, uh, listen, if you want as much bonuses for free as possible, join the party page and join the VIP launch team. If you're a client, an Author Academy Elite client, you get a whole bunch more. Why? Because You've paid me, and this is what allows me to create videos and fun things uh, for you guys. You know, so if you're a private client, join an Author Academy Elite, and then go to those secret bonus videos. But everybody else, check it out. This is a great this this link is a great strategy. Uh, let me tell you what's on here. You're gonna see the launch team. It says join the party. It's got book trailers and chapters. So what I do, folks. I, I, I recommend giving away a digital version of your book to your launch team. What I do is I basically give away like a whole, you know, 50 pages of the book. And I say, hey, here's, here's your gift just for being part of the launch team. Check out the digital, digital sample and then see what you think. And if you hate it, don't, don't review it. But if you like it, this is a way that you guys can return the favor for me, okay? And this is what you tell your launch team. You say, hey, look, I'm putting on a big party. I'm putting on a lot of stuff. Why? Because I'm passionate. Always cast vision. Don't say, hey, buy my book, buy my book. Cast vision. This book I just read today, by the way, there's a Japanese word called karoshi, which means death by overworking. Google it. It's true. This book is literally going to save people's lives. I don't know if you know this, but Sunday nights, male suicides are at the highest as they think about returning back to work. I cast all this vision for my book about how the book's going to help save lives. This book helps people overcome addictions and self-injury and bulimia and workaholism. Every single book that's out there that you're writing, your book, you got to show how it's saving lives and helping people, even interior design. If your book's about interior design, look, your book is saving people the embarrassment of a poorly decorated house. It's bringing beauty to people's homes. You got to tap into the, to the um, universal vision of your book. If not, your launch team won't get excited about it. But one thing I want to encourage you guys to do is like, hey, if, if you... Hold on, we're getting some here. If you guys like what I'm sharing, of course. Do I want you to get excited about the book? Of course I do, absolutely. But what you wanna do is you wanna fire up your launch team so that um, now they can, now or when your book launches, they can basically pop in there, post their reviews. All of this stuff goes to help your book on Amazon. Amazon is a huge seller. And the more successful you are on Amazon, the more success they get behind you because they want to sell books too. They get profits as well. All right. Um, Sarah says, is, is it under the secret author tips in bonuses on the AA drop down menu? Yes, that's where it's at, Sarah. So Sarah's from the UK. She's one of our authors. Um, she's doing fantastic. All right. Great job, Sarah. So other questions, you guys can ask questions. I'm just going to spend a few more minutes answering questions. Um, one thing I would ask you guys to do if you found any value from this is, hey, go to that, go to that page that I just shared 
And I, what I'm doing is I'm releasing. So check this out. If you have a launch team, this is going to be helpful. You get your launch team, you cast your vision, you create a private Facebook group for your launch team. Your job is vision caster and you basically create a content calendar. So what I do is I have every Monday is mission Monday. Tuesday is tool Tuesday, where you share a tool from your book. Wednesday is Word Wednesday, where you pick a word and you basically say, hey, you know, the word of the day is deeper, you know, and you talk about how people in life who really want to go higher, they must go deeper first, whatever. Th Thursday is Thankful Thursday. Friday is Facebook Friday. Saturday is Strategic St Saturday. And Sunday is Sneak Peek Sunday. Just last Sunday, I gave away sample chapters from your secret name. It's called Sneak 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 peek Sunday. And there's a lot of people now who are reading the content. Okay. You got to give people a sample just like at Walmart um, or Costco or Sam's club or wherever you go, they give away free samples and free samples helps people uh, basically be introduced to your content. If you just say, Hey, you want to sample my book? You got to buy it. Um, Amazon knows that when they, when they do the look inside feature for your book, Sales go up because people can sample the book. All right. Anybody else have any questions today? I know people just maybe jumped on, but let me recap really quick. Your Amazon author page is very important. You want to basically optimize it by uh, putting in there your trailer, putting in there your um, uh, blog. If you got a blog, you can basically put in your RSS feed, it's called. All that is building basically a content base for your content. And when Amazon is seeing search terms, they're basically going to start suggesting your book if it's a relevant search, just like Google. This is how you show up on Amazon's search engine by creating relevant content that's going to help people. All right. So basically, with your Author Central, put your picture there, put your bio there, use keywords that you're going to be using for search terms. If you're helping, uh, one of our clients is helping women overcome sexual abuse trauma. So she puts that in her bio. All these things affect the search term ranking. Okay. Secondly, what I suggested today is that you want to, if you're republishing an old version, you want to basically leverage those old reviews. You don't want to start from scratch. So you call up Author Central and you basically say, hey, can you guys merge my two editions? together and what that helps is it actually helps you get reviews now isn't that crazy so you can get reviews now because your old version exists but they're going to show up with the new version as well in addition to that i talked to you about a widget if you missed it watch the review earlier today there's a new edition widget that they can put for free on your old book that says new edition coming so that when people find your old book it basically show, shows them the new edition that's coming. What else did I share today? I shared that to become an, uh, that you can have 10 categories instead of three, that you basically can be uh, a big fish in a small pond, that you don't want to be competing against these massively broad categories. You want to be competing against smaller categories. For Author Academy Elite students, I created some bonus videos that show you how to do that. I talked about how that when you launch, you want to create an event. You want to have a launch team and a launch party. If you guys need help with this, join the carryoverrunner.com slash party and you will see me take you hand by hand. I'll show you the way for your own launch. And I'll, here's my only ask. My only ask is that when I, when I ask you to do a mission, when I ask you to get engaged, when I ask you to get involved, that you do. Why? Because it's, it's a, Basically, I'll tell you why. A launch party and a launch team is pointless if no one's doing anything. So if I'm basically teaching authors how to do their launch party and you're just saying, oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I'm going to do that. That's a great tip. And then you don't engage in the process. It really doesn't even work. So what I'm saying is just like I'm bringing you to a front row seat in my launch team, take the ideas, run with them, use them in your own launch. But please, when I when I basically say, hey, guys, here's what we need to do, if you can do that, if you're finding value, if you think it's a waste of your time, just exit the launch team, no problem. I'm not going to be offended at all. 
I really want people in there who are engaged and fired up with their own books because I love to uh, I love to give, but we also need a launch team that's engaged and fired up as well. So one of the things here's what I'm going to ask you to do: if you have read the Secret Name sample chapters, and by the way, or if you've ever purchased the book, the old version came out in 2010. Please go to Amazon right now, right now, and review the Your Secret Name book. Why? Because the way I just taught you how to do it today, I can literally start getting reviews for the new version right now. So that would be a great way that would be helpful. I read those reviews. I read every single one. And they help other people get the mission. And here's why I'm doing this, because check this out. You ready? It's basically going to help people stop pretending, shed the labels, and discover their true identity. We live in a world today that a lot of people have depression, a lot of people struggle with suicidal thoughts, a lot of people need help. And this book, Your Secret Name, is gonna help them get a new image of who they were created to be, who God created them to be. So listen, your review helps out a lot. Anybody else have any questions before we call it a day? If you need something here, please post your question. I will try to serve you right now if you need help. So um, anybody, roll with it and, and let me know, and I will do my best to help you. Otherwise, um, thanks so much for joining. I will keep doing uh, these trainings for you, especially in the party page. So if you are part of the Six Figure Author 5-Day Challenge VIP group, it's free. Um, but we, if, if the longer you wait to join, the more you're going to miss because I'm literally taking you through the next 14 days. If you, if you live near Columbus, the launch party's free show up. If not join, uh, the link here that I'm going to put in just a second. And, uh, we are going to go live on October 27th. It is going to be so fun. I'm going to teach you guys how you need an MC, what your MC should say. I'm going to teach you guys how to create excitement and energy at your launch party. It's going to be so many things. So, uh, Gene, great question, Gene. I'm going to answer your question right now. By the way, Heather, thank you so much. Heather is is my my hero for the day. So she says, Heather says she's reviewing your secret name right now. Awesome. Thank you so much. And again, I give you guys a massive sample of it for free. Um, at that link that I'll share. And then I'm going to answer your question, Gene, for you because you have an important question I'm going to get to. But if you guys want to see a sample of the book so you can skim it and then review it, that's fine too. And I'm going to post that. Uh, this is where you get your free sample, carryoverunner.com slash launch hyphen team. Here's where you get the free invitation for your party. Gene, great question. My book is due out a month from next month from another publisher. Is it too late for a launch party? No, it is not too late. Listen, Brenda's watching this. Laura's watching this. A lot of our authors are watching this. Karen's watching this. These people have had launch parties. I recommend that your launch team has a launch, that you start your launch team 30 days before your VIP, before your launch to two weeks. So basically two weeks to four weeks before your launch party is when you start your launch team. Ideally 30 days, but if you don't have that time, it's okay. Because what's going to happen with your launch party is it's going to, your launch team, it's going to start super small and then it's going to start gaining this, this energy and excitement as you get closer to your launch party date. Okay. All right, so folks, thank you so much. Um, you're awesome. Best wishes on your own book. And again, um, if you need help, just ask in the VIP launch group and I'll try to keep serving you guys over the next 13 days. My goal was really to bring you in close and say, here's what I'm doing, here's why I'm doing it, here's how I'm doing it, because you have a book inside you and you have a book that needs to be read by the world and I wanna help you guys get the word out. So take care, everybody. Have a great day. We'll see you on Facebook Friday.